guys, this is Lost Worm, and you are watching The Worm's Turn. Um, this is my sec- well, I don't know how I'm going to be dividing these episodes up, but uh, this is my, my, my second session of playing, uh, what's it called? Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. Uh, so I'm just going to get right into it. I'm not sure, uh, exactly. No, well, first off, I'm really tired. Neil. And pay homage to the gods. You shall be rewarded. Uh, so. Melitale watches over us all. Yet you do well to remind her through supplication. Yeah. Um, I'm really tired because I got up earlier than I normally would. I'm a bit of a night owl. Um, but for whatever reason, I woke up early today. I went to bed fairly early last night, and I feel like garbage. Um, one of the reasons for that, one of the reasons for getting up early is because my, uh, common law partner, uh, she, um, she thinks the camera's creepy, so <clears throat> probably just cover it up when she's, <laughs> we cover it up when I'm not using it and I'm just not going to use it when she's home. She's at work now and she's at work in the morning, so I got up to make this Traveling recording. the high road, they heard the bells of a temple to Mother Melitale, situated at some distance. Neve turned towards Reynard. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall, Your Grace. The Queen's brow darkened. Her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me. Stained glass shards glinted in the grass. Bits of down ripped from quilts wafted through the air. The priestesses gathered in the yard were seeing to wounded pilgrims setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Spala fell upon us. Sighed the prioress. Stole the offerings, the monstrances, the holy books. My lady, I implore you come to our aid, recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever, Meave scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. The perfect place to hide, or to lie in ambush. It's all come clear now. Sabotage. It was the bandits who weakened the walls. Uh, yeah, of course it was the bandits. I mean, nothing happens by coincidence in video games. Or books, or movies. What was it going? Oh yeah, so, in my last recording I made some suggestions as to what sort of content I might put up on my channel. Um, if any of that sounds good or bad to you guys, let me know. Not sure what sort of schedule I'm going to have for posting videos. If I'm going to record a bunch at a time, edit them, and then post them up gradually. Um, it's a bit of a Your Majesty, buffer. turn back! There, something wicked lurks. I really just haven't thought this whole endeavor through at all, so uh, it's going to be a learning experience. The dead as they rest are disturbed. Something digs up their graves, opens their tombs. But I'm okay with that, because, you know, you gotta just start things sometimes. It's not like, um, and then improve as you go, otherwise you just don't get started. The sacred cemetery had once been an oasis of peace, a place of prayer, reflection, and meditation. Alas, necrophages now scuttle among consumed graves, and human bones litter its grounds. The priestesses believed the beast's sudden appearance heralded some impending woe. Yet in what form, what fate awaited Lyria and its people? Our goal is weaken each enemy to one power. Uh, special rules. Turn an ally from the battlefield to hand. All right, so let's see. This will hurt everybody. I know that. So if I played this, what do these guys do anyway? A base cop to 
deploy spawn a base copy of this unit. Death wish. Damage all units on this row by four. Okay, so I just can't kill them, which I didn't want to anyway. So if I place this, oh, I'll have four. Play this. And then I'll play this. Oh, I don't know if I have more war wagons. But I can return. Oh god, my alarm's going off. Ugh. All right, got a plan. Well, let's see if this works. Can't take it. <laughs> well, that's not the uh, unit I thought it was. Um. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's do damage. Move to the other row. Okay, I can move to the other row. I have three turns. But I can only play one unit for turn. I just need to kill the one guy. Well, let's see how it goes. What? Who dares? So it turns out I guess I don't have another war wagon in there. Um, Takes up my turn too. Didn't I already fail? What's my objective? A little confused here. Alright. So I'm gonna summon some more guys. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf I am. Ballista, your command. I thought I only had three returns. Um, I probably thought about that a lot longer than I needed to because I thought I only had three turns, and then I realized I couldn't think of a solution, so I just went with it anyway. But everything worked out in the end. Um, Your Majesty, you return. Our prayers have been answered. May the Mother Goddess watch over you. Hey, okay, morale went up. My lady, a monster has defiled one of the tombs, laid waste to sacred graves. Bones litter the floor, treasures enough to fill our coffers. A war is on, your grace. Surely the dead have no need for it, right? Uh, okay, so I can take money, lose morale, uh, lose wood, gain morale. I'm going to take the money. What's dead is dead. Find a cart, load the riches. Because I love money. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in watching me and my friends play some um, board games or role-playing games, leave a comment, let me know, and I will try to convince my friends to uh, allow themselves to be recorded. Right now I'm in the middle of trying to get a role-playing game started called, um, what's it called? Second. Your Majesty, you return! Our prayers have yeah, been yeah. answered! called
Legacy, Life Among the Ruins, Second Edition. Congratulations, you've discovered a card that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer game, Strays of Spala. Uh, they do have the elements they're talking about. Can I use it in a single player game? Anyway, it seems like a pretty interesting tabletop role-playing game because um, it's based on Powered by the Apocalypse engine. The I didn't get to that treasure chest. Let's go back over there. Uh, yeah, you get to control not only a character, but you each player controls a family, and the game takes place over multiple generations. It's kind of a more rules-light game than what my group's typically used to. Um, yeah, I'm having difficulty getting the group together, unfortunately. Congratulations, you can use the Avatar Border in the Gwent multiplayer game. Alright, so this game's basically a big promotion for the Gwent multiplayer game for the looks of it. Whatever. Um, uh, uh, my second alarm's going off. Let's see what's over here. So, yeah, the game takes place over multiple generations. Players continue to play the same families throughout, but the characters they play will, you know, die off and develop. You have to play multiple generations. Uh, time heals all wounds, they say. That, that memories fade. That the nightmares would end and my pain would cease. Yet, eight years have passed since I left the world behind. Naught but prayer, confession, and reflection. I wonder still how my life might have been different had I refused that last mug of ale. Had I noticed the child. Had I pulled back on the reins more quickly. I prayed for forgiveness once. Now I pray only for an end. May it come swiftly. I guess he ran over a kid with his cart. Don't know how the end came. Give me the stuff. Oh, I have. Uh, oh, I unlocked it already. I might have enough for my um, upgrade. I want. Ah, I always the wrong button for the upgrade. I wanted already. Let's see what I got here. Training grounds. All right. I want the one that gives me gold. Yeah. All right. Give me that. Forge Corvus one. Ah, cool. Soon I'll actually be able to buy real things. <clears throat> oh no, I won't. Oh, they need a movement speed increase first. What's this? Where am I? Oh, this must be that grove. These look like strays of Spala to me. So, as far as I'm aware, aware, there's no real reason to win all three rounds. Uh, just like there wasn't in the Gwent card game in Witcher 3. So... In that case, if you win the first round, you don't have to do anything in the second round. You can save yourself some cards. And that in this game, that's three cards. That's a pretty significant advantage, actually. Although the enemy might pass if you don't have an advantage at the time that you pass. The bandits had pitched camp in a nearby wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they'd stolen from the cloister cellar, the brigands had not posted sentries. Another round! To the sisters! <laughs> Neve's soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished. Yet only the Queen could order the assault. Let's get them. High time we put these strays on a leash. Spat the Queen, spurring her horse. Two arms! Follow me! Tankards clattered to the ground as the strays reached for their weapons. Brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. 
I guess I should, while I'm playing the game, um, vocalize my thought process. I think it's a little bit more interesting. Had the brigands chosen to hide in the dense forest to station a guard, this battle might never have come to pass, and they might have slipped away with the prize. Alas, they were drunk on victory and confidence. Or perhaps, perhaps the gods, thirsty for vengeance on the blasphemers, had dulled their vigilance. I have to prevent three gold wagons from escaping. This battle will last only one round. Okay. One round. Right. Okay, I think piece of turn turns around from here. Choose a card to redraw. Zero to six. At the beginning of a round, you can redraw up to six cards. Get rid of the cards from your hand that you don't wish to play. Okay. Um. Bombenberg. Okay. Oh, the wagon, well, the uh, war wagon and Wagenberg have good synergy. Did I misunderstand the... I don't know. Alright, <clears throat> what we got here? Let's get this show started. So my thought there is... Uh, it gives them the armor, which they need to um, actually use their ability. And... It'll protect them in case something were to happen to them. Never cut a lamb. Shank. Like that. Damage a unit by five. If it's on a row with fire, damage all units on it by five. It's never deployed. So they've got no armor now. Um, let's try this. See what happens. Can't take it. That's cool. Cool. Escape in two turns. Okay. Looking to dance, mate. Ow. Damage a unit by five. If it's a row with fire, damage all units. Uh, same thing. Oh, that's interesting. So. Gain one armor whenever a card appears on this rope. So I can just move this back and forth. Oh. Okay. Abolista, your command. Do I lose now? They are, easier they are Is that like a bonus objective? Regroup! Hmm. Okay. Oh, right. They have charges. I forgot about that. Let's do this. Play the top blitz unit from your deck. I, I guess I don't have any. Okay.
No, I'm not gonna do that. I cancel. Change my mind. See if he's had any coin in his pockets or his owns. Play. Mark a unit after three turns on turn start. Switch its power with this unit's power. After three turns on turn start, switch the powers. This is. Oh, this is another Valkenberg. Well, then I'm going to do this. If I play this, then I should hopefully have a bunch of pike limit coming. Oh, Lyrian lummoxes. Yeah. But again, I don't have. Oh wait, here we go. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I might have got away had you not been falling so damn much. Well, this just isn't going very well for me, is it? Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Oh, it does it to everybody. Interesting. Those lovely earrings, or do I tear them off myself? Let's try this again. Oh, the rose can fill up. Well, that's news to me. Now we've wasted time for one like me. Like I said. Generally, I'm not that great at games. Two turns on turn start. Boost self by the power of unit on the right and the side. So, um. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. So I guess I can't let three of the wagons um, escape. Is how that's okay. yeah, so on those. Uh, I don't really care that much about the field medics. Where are you? Surround them! Wow, so many scythemen. Okay, so where's my Oh, this kind of sucks. All right. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Actually, my. The mist's gonna pass me those lovely earrings, or do I tear them off myself? My stacked-up arbalists might um, work quite well in this situation. So we've got Vivian Pikeman. Oh, this is a war wagon. Um, Arbalist. So my rows fill up. How many cards can I fit maximum? Looks like about eight, I think. So I really want to get five on the first row. And then I'll start putting my arbalists down. So I can do that basically right away by playing this. You can try to win them all, but you won't. 
relieve you of that couch. So really what I should do. Um I'm not gonna be able to stop this cart. So what I'll do is I'll wait to put my arbalists down. Let's start preparing the next row. Wish. Regroup. All right. So, uh, Rivian Pikeman, get some. Ah, uh, there's not a reason here. why. Perfect. Okay. There you go. Stick them on. High as the clouds. Now. I'm a warrior. So, what I'm doing is I'm buffing the weakest units so that they don't get removed from the battlefield so that my arbalists can uh, do their work. You can pay the toll in one of two ways in silver or in blood. Worked out. Um, so then, if I end my turn, yeah. this guy's got a job to do. This guy's got ten health. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not gonna be able to remove that lot, that guy. Oh wait, how do I do well, uh, what's their second ability do? Damage a random enemy nearest itself by two. No, that's not gonna happen. So I guess my best chance would be to put this guy here. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. And then buff my fighter. I don't know if he's got another war wagon coming. If he does, there's not really anything I can do about it. Okay. So actually, I'm going to move these guys back. <clears throat> uh, give this guy a charge. Of an eye from our fully the Uh You're just really not paying for yourself today. Company! Forward march! Okay. So who will I buff? The weakest guy. So these targets. I think I don't want to buff those guys. I think the targets mean that they'll be joined. Okay. They are, so I they are to think I'm basically screwed because I didn't have enough One damage to go to my opening hand to begin with, which is kind of a crummy situation. Oh no, that one. Okay. 
The Queen's company defeated the bandits and recovered the loot. Silver chalices, reliquaries lined with mother of pearl, gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be grateful to have their treasures returned, Your Grace. They would pray ardently for your victory. Reynard opined. Yet, you could also keep the silver, expend it on the war effort. <laughs> and who's to say which, prayer or coin, would be more useful? I mean, probably coin. Ah. But I'm the. I can't. All right, let's Hard times it. the realm now endures. The Queen said. After a pause. Yet this can't justify a lapse in principles. No. We must defend them all the more. Meave ordered everything returned to the priestesses. All of it. Down to the last gulden. Moved by the Queen's gesture, some of the novitiates joined Meave's ranks, aiming oh. to bring succor to any Lyrian wounded in battle. Queen and company rode off with no gold to show for their toil. But most certainly richer in spirit. Richer in spirit. Oh, yeah, you got a field medic. Well, that sucked. <sighs> but we can't just be as bad as bandits, can we? Sure, you can bind a rabid dog, tie his four legs together, but you'll not stop him from lashing out and biting. <laughs> You're best to do okay, I'm not trying to talk to you. But you'll not find the Duke of Dogs near as easy prey. Oh no! My dear strays, once you've relieved the pious priests of their unnecessary baubles, make your way south to the estate of Lord Clayton. Words got round he's raised quite the sum for the dowry of his not so comely daughter. But can love truly be built upon a mound of coin? I think not. Let's save the poor lad from an unhappy marriage, shall we? Your Duke of Dog, Earl of Butts, High King of Huckleberries, His Trampy Highness, His Sparky Lordship. G. G for Galdwell. I'm sticking to that theory no matter what evidence points elsewhere. My theory being that Caldwell is responsible for everything. Your Majesty, the strays of Spala slaughtered the entire village. What is his claim folk had refused the brigands' aid? Have we the coin to give these poor souls a proper burial? See, that's why I didn't judge the uh, other peasants too harshly. Because I knew that they would just be slaughtered. If they um, hadn't helped the bandits. There's no time to mourn them. We must push forward. Our morale's good. I don't want to spend my gold on that. We have no time to mourn them. We must push forward. I've got more important things to spend my gold on. Like forager camps and stables or something? 